It's been three months since the first Islanders arrived at the villa, but now uh, the, the summer is at an end and they're living in the real world. Is the honeymoon over too? Well, that's what we're going to find out from one of our favourite Love Island couples, Maura and Curtis. But as we're about to remind you, life wasn't all roses inside the villa either. Will you be my half-girlfriend? I will be your half-girlfriend. I'm really confused. I, I don't understand why my head's turned. You don't want to be with me. Now, you're a single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> As the new survival, you will pick first. The boy I want to couple up with is Curtis. Is it not uncomfortable for me being in bed next to you two with your arm around her? Is that not uncomfortable for me? Curtis, can you teach me how to dance then? Cha cha cha. I do a feelings for you. I think you're gorgeous. Ah, oh, and Maura and Curtis are here now for their first ever interview together. This is very nice to have you Look here. Look at us all rocking the blue. We, I know. <laughs> We're all synced up. Um, so how, how's life been since you've been out of the villa? Because obviously you watched every single moment unfold and then it comes to an end and we all sort of left wanting more, really. So how's, how's this? How's this going? I mean, I, we're going fantastic, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, things are going really, really good. We've not, actually not had one argument since leaving the villa. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So why do you think Fingers that is? Because there were, there were moments... <laughs> like there were moments yeah. We probably have one now. <laughs> there were moments of tension in there. So coming out, do you think it's, it's easier in it's a way? It's so much easier, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a different world in there. Like, we've come out to the real world now. We've both been very busy doing separate things, so we've sort of not been able to spend every second of the day together. Yeah. Mm. Which, in a weird way, has been it's nice. It's good because yeah. then you miss someone and then... And then when you actually spend time together, yeah. it's good and it's quality time. But the yeah. thing is yeah. that also that the, the, the papers love conflict. They, I mean, they, oh, they can't, can't believe that we have never had a row ever. Uh, uh, but they, but they want to create them. Yeah, of course. But, but, but for you guys, it's the same thing because you read yeah. in the papers, oh, they've split, yeah. they've split, they've split. Yeah, we've seen it, yeah. yeah well, I mean, it's just yeah. because we don't put everything on social media. We don't have to prove to people that no. we're together and we're happy. Like, yeah. we know we're happy, so that's all that matters. Yeah. And um, Curtis, I wanted to know from you, because obviously when you're in the villa, you don't really know how you're being perceived. You can have yes, a bit of an yeah. idea. You can second guess maybe if you're not in the top couples or whatever it is. When you came out of the villa and you saw the reaction that Maura got in particular, I think, because everybody just fell in love everyone with you. Loves <laughs> what was I it like? I tell all the time, I say, everyone loves you. Yeah, yeah. so when, when you came out and you saw that, that this was your girl here, and actually she was sort of seen so fondly by everybody. I just found it incredible, but I always knew she would be. I, you know, she's got such a, an amazing personality and I couldn't absolutely believe it. incredibly <laughs> looking. So I knew you'd always, everyone loves you. You just got that, like, fiery I was book. expecting all the hate. Well, you no. were. Yeah, no, I, I really was. I said it to you in there as well. I was like, I'm going to I always, I always thought you were going to Because I'm so opinionated. Out. <laughs> well, you'd had a long-standing yeah. interest here because you'd <clears throat> actually messaged uh, Maura on yes, Instagram yeah. before you even went in. I never but you got never a reply. Met. Yeah, you never, never met. Never met. He told me he had a good look at my Instagram page. But yeah, Maybe but you did. A little scroll down there. <laughs> <laughs> did she reply? No. Do you know what? I didn't see the message. I actually didn't yeah, see the message. Yeah. No, I swear, <laughs> I didn't see the message. And anyways, even if I did, I'm going to be honest, I wouldn't have replied because I just don't do that. I don't reply well, to random strangers. Like, I, don't I don't know him. But it's almost like this was kind of meant to happen because there was that, so it could have happened no. then. It was, it, it was pretty it surreal. We spoke yeah. about it so much yeah. in the villa, like how weird it is. And then like when we first spoke and then a feather fell, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. You didn't, and I'd never heard about yeah. this. I didn't know, this like... It's the a, angel, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, like, no it's like a sign. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But also, there was... I mean, you didn't meet on Dancing on the Stars. This is when you were in Ireland. And no. I know that no. there people have been saying about this, but you, just no. to clarify, you didn't meet. No. But you might have been under the same roof. We met, yeah. We were, we yeah. Met, well, we will have been in the same building, but never saw and never... That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, Yeah, no. Never, like, never bumped into doors. each other. Like yeah. And one of the things, yeah. so when you come out of the villa and you hope, when you, when you go in there, you hope for two things. You hope to find love yes. and you hope to further your careers. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and, and it's, you're working for us. I know, how excited. Well, That's I was fantastic. so happy. I was just like, yes, I couldn't believe more. it. I honestly, like, I, it didn't sink in for so long. Like, I couldn't believe it, like. So you're going to do the phone in today, in. which Thank we'll so talk much. about in a bit, but also you're doing the, your Ireland uh, films as well for us aren't you? Yes. 
And so, uh, so I think I don't know whether we've even mentioned that, but it's uh, Maura's Love Island. Love Ireland. <laughs> what a great name! I know. How good <laughs> is that? I know. What, it's what are you going to do in those? Um, so I'm going to be exploring Ireland mm. um, and showing the viewers why Ireland is such an amazing country to visit mm. because there's so much to do. That would not give me do you know, it's, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful it is country. A beautiful it is. Country. And, and, like, and even though we have a lot of bad weather, like, it's still amazing. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. That's why it's so green. Yeah. And Curtis, for you, you so tell me about, because you're the BBC's greatest dancer. Yes. Yeah. So your role in there, you're the receptionist, the receptionist. that welcomes yeah, everybody yeah. in before they go on Literally, stage. Literally, so I get to see so many different acts. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but there was one act that actually they were speaking to me and telling me their story and I nearly started crying. Uh, like, it was so magical. But uh, yeah, I, I meet so many different people. Literally build the confidence up, or if they're um, too nervous, I try and just settle them down. Yeah, it's and quite an important role, them. actually. Yeah, today. it was a lot more than I realised. I sort of, I got thrown into it, and um, I just remember being non-stop, just people coming in, just not yeah. constantly. But I loved it, it was incredible, yeah. And are you going on tour with AJ? I am, next year, AJ Live. So yeah, starts the 6th of March, uh, first tour together. Like, that's a dream come true, literally childhood dream, so yeah. Mm, brilliant. And as for the other uh, Love Islanders, do you keep in touch? I know you're seeing Tommy, but Tommy, I just wondered, because yeah. <clears throat> you stayed in right to the end, so you didn't see any of sort of the past footage. You've had time mm -hmm. to kind of look back and We've see. We've seen a lot of the Islanders, Yeah. to be fair. I think, like, because... You know, you went through the experience together. It's nice to support one another. Yeah, and is it I like mean, that? Because you sort of think there's competition in there to win it and to couple up and to do this. You do and there's make almost friends. another competition. You really do it. make friends. You like, do. yeah, you're like a, a big we, mass family. We have been very busy though, so we haven't had. To, a lot of people have like been going on holiday yeah, together. Yeah, a lot of the Islanders have seen each other a lot more than. We just but, haven't had the time yeah. to do that, unfortunately. Mm. But like, it's. It's amazing, though, because we are lucky enough to have all of this work coming yeah, in. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well, so yeah. are you officially girlfriend and boyfriend? <laughs> <clears throat> yes, you may. Are you leave. girlfriend <laughs> and boyfriend? What is the status right. of your relationship? I, <laughs> I, you've caught me off guard here. You so, must have known <clears> it was coming. No, I'm, right, I'm really happy with how this is going. Yeah, I haven't asked her to be my girlfriend. Not but, even half girlfriend? No, <laughs> oh, throw that. that one in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how he rolls. <laughs> and uh, I am not going to do it on TV because I don't want to make it like a public thing. If I'm going to do it, it's going to be it's private. private. Will you be my girlfriend? Have you? You haven't changed any status. <laughs> no, no, nothing. But I'm quite old-fashioned because, like, when you when you see you weren't old-fashioned in the villa, so. <laughs> yeah. But when you see someone and you're with someone, like, you don't do that. Yeah. I, I don't know, but in the villa, obviously, I got caught up in the love. Would you like it to move to the sort of next stage, Maura? I would. Would you? And would you? Both of you. Yeah, of course. Well, yeah. well do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've got to, I've got to say, because because you've been quite enigmatic here anyway, which um, which may be something that Maura's been thinking about. I've been with women. I'm with a woman now. You can never put a label on sexuality. It's a cliche to say, but love is blind. I can never say what will happen in the future. I wouldn't rule anything out. And those were well, those were your words. So what, how would you describe yourself it, as enigmatic at the I, moment? I think it's it's 2019. Like nobody needs to label anything. I think it's yeah. ridiculous that people do that and everything. But um, my goal in life is to be happy. And this girl here, Maura, makes me happy. Mm. So like everything's perfect right now. And that's all. And I how really do you feel about say. what he said? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy too. So I'm happy that he's happy. So just be boyfriend and girlfriend then. <laughs> <laughs> I think do it. I feel like you want us to ask now. Do it. Like, oh, I think it is. Of course I we do. Because we, we've loved watching you and I think we've sort of watched it flourish. And so it's, you know, of course, naturally, it's a bit like a bigger parent. You're like, oh, can I get to that next stage? Well, if it was <laughs> ever going to, you know, if it was ever going to happen anywhere on any TV programme, <laughs> this is the show. <laughs> this is the sofa. Uh, what's going it's through a, my head now? Thank you. Do I have to or not? Do I have to or not? It's our 10th anniversary <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, come on. Oh. Give us that. Well, if she gets on tomorrow, will I? <laughs> right, you can stay. Stay, stay the night. <laughs> we well, won't wish you anything. Yeah, we won't. Um, uh, thank it's you, lovely, it's lovely, lovely to see, to see you. both of you. And we're going to see you later on because you're back in for our phone-in, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to be staying around. I'm going to be taking phone calls, rhetorics. You've been on holidays and you've, you can't stop thinking about that guy or say you've moved in with your boyfriend and he's driving you absolutely crazy. You know me, I'm going to... Tell it how it is. Uh, yeah, that's me. And that's so, we've not moved get in your yet. phone calls <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you both. Thank, thank you.